I could say anything, man, it would be that the system that you have right now where you do a quarterly email and then you kind of go through your phone and text a couple people or whatever here and there, that's not mm -hmm. a scalable activity, right? So I'm, uh, I'm based out of the Michigan market, uh, Metro Detroit area. So I service three different, um, three different counties, Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb. Um, we're starting to see, you know, a little bit of a rise in supply. And I just wanted to see if that's kind of the same thing in your market in Florida and what you're doing um, to kind of hit this shift that we're heading into. Everybody's talking about it. Now we're starting to kind of see it. Um, as opposed to this summer where, you know, everything's going over asking, you know, sellers are having no problem, buyers, it's a little competitive. Now we're, again, seeing that shift. Is that kind of the same thing you guys are seeing? Yeah, man, listen, it's, it's, it's been totally, this was completely predicted, right? Like this, mm -hmm. like, there's no way that you can be in this market and have any kind of experience and not have seen this coming, right? Right. Right. Um, you know, I've been talking about this from the moment. Anytime a market is like super busy, mm -hmm. um, that's a dead giveaway that it's about to slow down at some point. Right. And every time it slows down, that's a dead giveaway that it's about to speed up. That's why when the when the uh, shutdown happened last year, I knew that the market was about to explode because things almost came to a halt there. You know, um, right. which really wasn't a halt. It felt like a halt, but really, eighty percent of the same amount of business was happening. Um, right. You know, so. No, man, listen, the, the story is the same in every single, like, um, you know, cycle of the market. It's, um, you know, how big is our database? How many people mm -hmm. in our market know who we are? You know, how many people are getting our weekly email or whatever our personal branding machine is, right? Yep. That we stay in front of people because when the market shifts, like the market shifting is going to create a lot of opportunity because, uh, you know, there's all kinds of sellers that are saying, oh, I'd love to sell at these high prices, but there's nowhere to move to. So right. what is more inventory going to do? It's going to create a situation where these sellers have a place to go to and they may be more apt to upgrade from where they are, sell what they got and upgrade to their dream home. Um, there's a lot of that that's going to happen as we see uh, inventory continue to increase. The people that are sitting around saying, oh, it's it's the market's changing and, you know, oh, no and stuff. They're just going to continue to suffer and, and not right. be successful. Right. I mean every mm -hmm. time the market changes creates another avenue of opportunity you know what That's i mean it, it opens up so much so for people people that were just in this past market over the past you know eight or nine months where you know every buyer was competing against you know 15 other buyers and you had to pay 50 to 100 thousand more than what they're asking you right. know those agents are like i can't win for losing i've been i put in like 12 offers and i can't get anything you know, and now inventory is coming up where buyers actually have options. And now these um, agents are going to say, you know, oh man, now it's it's slowed down, you know, and they're going to find right. a reason to say that the market sucks. You know, it's like you got two kinds of agents. You got the agents that sit around and try to figure, try to basically, you know, tell you why the market sucks, no matter what happens in the market. And the market could turn around on a dime and be completely opposite of what it was, and they'll still say it sucks. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you got the agents who sit around and and see an opportunity in every single type of market, right? And there's massive opportunity in every single market, right? And it's all just perspective. Right. So the story's all the same, man. You 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 talk to property owners, you make friends, you let them know who you are, what you do, and you're here to help. You send a weekly email and you ball. Yep. Amen. So that was the one thing I struggled with. And I actually, I have your zero to diamond emails coming in and uh, I don't do a weekly email. I do a quarterly email. Mm -hmm. um, I typically, I like to reach out to people by text. Mm -hmm. So instead of um, sending out like a weekly email, that's a little bit more generic. I like to take like a certain number of letters and last name in my, in my database and just kind of send them like a love tab with a text. And yeah, that seems yeah. to be like it's uh, it works a little better. Just like, hey, how you doing? You know, is is there anything I can do to help? Um, are you yeah. set? You know, satisfied? If it's a previous client, you know, are you satisfied with what what's uh, what's happened so far? Whether they were a seller, buyer previously with me, and then uh, just kind of see where that can warm up to and what you know low hanging fruits I can I can pick from um, as yeah. opposed to uh, you know just kind of constantly going through but still I, I'm doing my day-to-day -day calls I'll do 25 FISBOs 
and like 20 or 25 expireds. Mm. Um, so it's not like a crazy amount of calls, but it's enough to get my day started and it, it feels good. Like, you know, in this business, um, you're going to get rejection. You're going to get no's, but those no's can turn to yeses. Like you've proven time and time again, I've seen a lot of your content, you know, just following up and, and doing relationships over transactions really helps. And, and that's helped boost my business. So wanted to, I'm, I definitely wanted to get on here and, and thank you for that. So, um, you know, the content that you deliver really, uh, allowed me to push myself a little bit more. Well, if I could say anything, man, it would be that the system that you have right now where you do a quarterly email and then you kind of go through your phone and text a couple people or whatever here and there, that's not mm -hmm. a scalable activity, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you had okay. 5,000 people, right? If you had 5,000 people, you couldn't do that. Now you can bulk text, you know, you can do the bulk text right. where you have like a smart number and you know, you can create like a bulk text where you do hit all 5,000 people via text message and that's fine and everything. But I mean, like your quarterly email, I'm guessing because you use the word generic, it's probably like a generic newsletter. Yeah, it's pretty generic. I would yeah, say yeah, so. yeah. So what, so listen, man, if you really want to ramp your business up and get to the point where I am, where I don't make any calls anymore and I close a hundred deals a year and all I do is a weekly email, you need to start mm -hmm. doing a weekly email and you need to sit down every week for 30 minutes and actually put it together where you actually write it and it's really good stuff that comes out of your mind and gives them mm -hmm. a little bit of your personality, right? Okay. Not yeah, a generic, it's not generic, right? I write the email every week and I tell right. people what I think and give them my opinions on stuff. And I mean, I'm, now, I'm closing that, 100. Does that change with uh, the different markets? Like if you work one county and you work another county, will it differ a little bit in those emails? Or do No, you... listen, you put everybody in the same email and then within the okay. email you have click on your county and you can have like a box that's there every email where they can okay. click on their county, which goes to a dedicated page in your website that gives them all the information on that county that you wanna share with them. That way that you can send sense. the same email to everybody, but if they want to go get more information on their county with what's sold or this or that, they can click a, they can click one click and go to your website, which has a page dedicated to that county. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. So, you know, the drip campaign stuff every quarter, shut that off, man. I mean, that's not doing anything. That's just yeah. making you look like a generic robot, right? Yep. So you need to so do weekly. Be more see, 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 weekly. It needs to be personable. It needs to be weekly. Weekly is the perfect frequency. Whereas they feel like this person's consistent. They're hardworking. Mm -hmm. They're dependable, and they start to think all these incredible things about you. Um, you know, as they're getting this email. And listen, man, the people that unsubscribe from a weekly email, they're going to unsubscribe from a monthly email, a quarterly email, a, a yearly things. email. Those people yeah. don't even get emails, so don't even worry about people unsubscribing. You do your job to create custom, consistent, original content every week around your real estate market and who you are as a person, and people are going to love you. Okay. And then yeah, you can guess, and then you can scale that to the moon. Yeah, no kidding. I guess that's one thing I've kind of been missing from my business is like, yeah. okay, you know, I found the spot. I remember, you know, starting off, it was it was tough to get a deal going. I mean. Um, you know, I was talking to a lot of investors, door knocking, doing open houses, things like that. And uh, eventually I found some success in it and those that success generated referrals and I kind of hit like a plateau. But it's nice to hear you say that because that allows me to expand my business a little bit more by scaling up, like you said, and actually feeding into that, you know, personability and branding yeah. and, and getting out there. And that makes sense. A hundred percent. Just spend time on it right just spend time on it every week make it your baby right mm -hmm. and realize that it's going to be the foundation of you of you getting to a place where you can close 50 to 100 deals every year just through past clients and referrals absolutely right okay cool cool man well everything going good in florida you guys staying yeah busy down we're here? good man just staying busy down here cool yeah um where typically would you say uh the most transactions happen like what counties that you work in are you seeing the most traction out of county wise yeah i mean i'm just down here i'm actually in baldwin county alabama uh, right okay. on the right on the florida line and yep. uh you know i sell mostly golf front condos and beachfront houses go. and stuff like that um but you know it's uh listen it's busy everywhere man that's what you have to realize Absolutely. is that no doubt and dude like it's unlimited you can't do all the deals man it's like 
it's like trying to drink the ocean you know what i mean right. like that's what that's what trying to do all the deals is like it'll never happen so you just got to get out there and drink as much as you can absolutely i appreciate the words yeah well, man cool, cool. all right thanks so much Rick. i know you're busy man so i don't want to keep you too long but uh thanks so much i appreciate your time and hopefully we'll uh, be in touch soon yeah bro good conversation man i'll i'll, I'll hit you up later awesome